once a queen of Narnia. You jolly well ran too, queen, Susan. I hardly ever think of those days now. Talk about something else. Like how awful it is that Susan's going to America. You enjoy it, Susan. Lucy's just jealous because she and Edmund have to go and stay at our aunt's with our horrible cousin Eustace. <laughs> What was that? Nothing must have imagined it. I know that music. Good shooting, my young prince. You learn well. Thank you, Uncle. I may learn, but I don't enjoy it. Boy, you must do all things well for the time when I am gone. And you will be king of Narnia. You don't seem to appreciate... Because he's an ungrateful little wretch. I'm not ungrateful, aunt. You never show gratitude, child. Oh, the things King Miraz and I have done for you. The care and attention you have had. I've had so much care and attention. It sometimes felt like being in jail. Silence! We have ruled Narnia, my boy, only so that one day it would be yours. But is he grateful? No. There. You have upset Queen Pruna Prismia. What are you dreaming of, Caspian? You always dream. I wish I'd lived in the old days. Old days? Old days? When everything was different. When the animals could talk and there were dwarfs and fawns. You're getting too old for that nonsense. You ought to be thinking about battles and adventures. They had adventures. There was a witch and she made herself queen of all Narnia. But then two boys and two girls came from somewhere and killed the witch. And they became the kings and queens. And they reigned for years and years. Who has been telling you these lies? Why? I've heard them ever since I was a small boy. Who told you? Why? My old nurse, for one. Guards! Accompany His Royal Highness Prince Caspian to his apartments at once. And bring me the old woman who used to be his nurse. I am King of Narnia, my boy. And I will be obeyed. Your Highness! Gone, sire. For years she was my only friend in this place. Shall we begin our lessons? He who will one day be king of Narnia needs to know the history of Narnia. Of the White Witch and the kings and queens of Ker Paravel. And the great lion Asla. Hush! You know your old nurse was sent away for telling those tales. <coughs> we turn now to grammar. Will your royal highness be pleased to open Pulverulentus Sickers at the fourth? Page. Later, we cannot speak here. Highness, your highness, come with me, highness. I am to give you a lesson in astronomy. Tonight, two noble planets. Carver and Allenville are to pass within one degree of each other. Such a conjunction has not been seen for 200 years. Your Highness will not live to see it again. Are they going to have a collision? <laughs> no, dear Prince. The lords of the upper sky know the steps of their great dance too well for that. I've never been on this high tower before. The virtue of this tower, sire, is that we have a long stair and six empty rooms beneath us. We cannot be heard or interrupted. The time has come for you to know. All that you have heard about old Narnia is true. In the country of Aslan, there were walking trees and talking beasts. I knew it was true. 
And I'm glad it was true. Many of your race feel that in secret. My race? What race would you be then, Cornelius? You are growing, sire. Look at me with the eyes of a youth, not a child. Why, you're... I'm a dwarf. Not pure dwarf. I have some human blood in me. Then it's true about the kings and queens and the white witch. Certainly it's true. Their reign was the golden age of Narnia. And the land has never quite forgotten them. My ears are burning. Someone, somewhere, is talking about me. And the kings and queens, did they live here in this very castle? Nay, sire. In those times, they lived in the castle of Caer Paravel. No man living now has seen that blessed place. It is far from here, on the shore of the sea. You mean beyond the Black Woods? Your Highness speaks as he has been taught. Your kings have always been afraid of the sea. Because, from the sea, came Aslan. For centuries, no one in Narnia has dared to go through the dark and tangled woods to look out to sea, towards the land of Aslan, towards the morning, and the eastern end of the world. That is what I'd like to see. The eastern end of the world. Trust me, and do exactly as I say. Put on all your clothes. You have a long journey before you. You, 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 you will need this food. But where am I to go to? Anywhere. Your life is now in danger here. Now, Cornelius, however bad he is, my uncle has always taken care of me. All is changed. The Queen has had a baby son. Miraz will put this son on the throne. To do that, he must first get rid of the rightful heir, you. Nonsense! To do that, he'd have to murder me. He murdered your father. You'll come with me. I am slow, and two are tracked more easily than one. No, sire, you must go on your own. You have your sword. Take these gifts. This is all the gold I could find. And this, this is the greatest and most secret treasure of Narnia, the magic horn of Queen Susan herself. Whoever blows it shall call up help. But remember this, do not use it, except in greatest need. Now make haste. But Dr. Cornelius, shall I never see you again? Who knows? I have a little magic. But, sire, speed is everything. Fireworks. To celebrate the birth of the new prince, go! Us. We can't do that. Not after taking it in and bandaging its head. That'd be murdering a guest. What shall we do with it, Truffle Why, 
Give it a drink. Come on, then. That's it. Here you are. Now, nothing to be afraid of. You are dwarfs. And you are... I'm a badger. Then it is true. There are animals who talk. Why, of course we talk. Here. You are the people who live in hiding. Some of us in Narnia still believe in you. And if you go back, you'll tell them we still live. Miraz will come and wipe us out. This creature must be killed. I don't want to go back to tell them anything. Rubbish! You're human. Of course you want to go back to your own kind. But I don't. The king means to kill me. Hey, how have you managed to fall foul of Miraz at your age? He's my uncle. I am Prince Caspian. There you are. Not only human, but close kin to our worst enemy. Are you still mad enough to let this creature live? I say we kill him. Now. For goodness sake, Nickerick, will you contain yourself? Almost truffle under an eye, sit on your head. Now, now, you two. You dwarfs are as forgetful and changeable as humans themselves. I'm a beast, I am. And a badger, what's more. We don't change. We hold on. Whistles and whirligigs, truffle You don't mean you believe in all them old stories. I believe in the High King Peter and all the rest who reigned at Care Paravel as firmly as I believe in Aslan himself. Who believes in Aslan nowadays? I do. Back there among the humans. Those who laugh at Aslan laugh at talking beasts and dwarves. Yet here you are. You're right, King Caspian. But, Your Majesty, there are things to do. It's time you met some of the other creatures in hiding. Glenstorm! Glenstorm! Long live the king. I am a prophet and a stargazer, and I know what you have come for. I am ready for the war. Do you mean a real war? To drive Miraz out of Narnia? But of course. Why else does your majesty go clad in mail and girt with sword? Time is ripe. Tava and Alambil have met in the halls of high heaven. Our has struck. Come, ride. Come one, come all, come one, come all to the dancing lawn. Osley Shovel the Mole, welcome, welcome. Hello, Hardbiters. Camillo the Hare and Hogglestock the Hedgehog. Red Dwarf, Black Dwarfs. Are they fools? Indeed they are, sire. There's a human somewhere near. Smells like man, and yet not quite like man. It's getting steadily nearer. Majesty. You two badgers and you dwarfs, go. We'll settle him. You are not to hurt him if he is alone. Catch and bring him. Best we kill it. Do as you're told. I'm unarmed. Take my wrists if you like, worthy badgers, but don't bite right through them. Dr. Cornelius! Ah, I've had a great dwarf. Shall I put my spear through his throat? Oh, be quiet, Nickerbrick. The creature can't help its ancestry. This is my greatest friend and the saviour of my life. And anyone who doesn't like his company 
may leave my army at once. Majesty, we must fly from this place. The secret of your flight is known. The king has called out his army. They will be here by dawn. Hurrah! Let them come. All I ask is that the king will put me in the front line. Sire. My name is Reepicheep, and I am unreservedly at your majesty's disposal. By the lion, it's a mouse. Greetings, senior mouse. I am honored to meet so valiant a beast. Enough of this foolery. What are our plans? Battle or flight? Flight? I don't intend to run away. But why should we let the enemy choose the battleground? Let us find a more defensible place. Aslan's how? Times, Aslan's How was a magical place. A stone table set high upon a great mound of earth, a place of sacrifice and miracles. Inside the mound is a puzzlement of caves big enough to hold us all. In there we will be safe, but we must cross that open ground and reach the mound before Miraz arrives. Hush. They stand exactly in our way. What's this? They dare break from the woods? Go face them there! Come on, move yourself. And kill all you find. They're safe in there. They're trapped. We'll starve them out. But, Doctor, what is to be done? We know we cannot long survive in here. If Your Majesty is ever to use Queen Susan's horn, it is now. But we are certainly in trouble. But supposing there came an even greater need, and we'd already used it. Boulder Dash! By that argument, Your Majesty will never use it until it is too late. I agree, sire. Chumpkin? Oh, well, you, your majesty knows I think the horn and your great King Pete and the lion has on eggs and moonshine. It's all one to me. If help comes, it may not come to this spot. The great King Peter is more likely to return to his old castle at Cape Paraville. But that is far from here. How would he know where we are? How can he reach us in time? Let us send a messenger to that place. Soup and celery. The first result of all this foolishness is not to bring help, but to lose us one fighter. I won't go. With all these beasts and humans around, a dwarf must stay to see that other dwarfs are treated properly. Thimbles and thunderstorms. I'll go, sire. But, Chumpkin, you don't believe in the horn. No more I do, but I might as well die in a wild goose chase as dying here. In any case, you're my king. I've given you my advice. Now I take your orders. I will never forget this, Chumpkin. We are called. Yes, 
I feel it too. Someone is dragging us. Dragging us where? Anyone? Any idea where we are? What's that? This place was inhabited once. It must have been someone's garden. This isn't a garden. It was a castle. This must have been the courtyard. In the great hall. In our castle of Care Paravel. You know only by the sea. back at Care Paravel. But how could it be such a ruin in only a year? Why, of course. Well, our time is different to Narnia time. One year on Earth could be centuries in Narnia. We must take our gifts. They may be useful. Lucy, your magic cordial that cured so many people. My magic bow. But where's your magic horn that goes with it? Oh, I lost it somewhere on the very last day. Edmund, where are your gifts? I didn't have any gifts. I wasn't with you when Father Christmas handed them out. Here's mine. The sword you killed Lord and the Wolf with. And became Lord Peter Wolfsbane. Oh, weren't they wonderful times? But why are we here now? There must be a reason. Help! Murder! Get here! Get here! Get here! I can't swim! Don't you dare! Help! Sound of their own and summoned you up, and you're not much more than babes in arms. We are not! I'll have you know, we ruled this place once. Only it's no laughing matter. Poor young Caspian's in a desperate plight and is depending on these great warrior kings. But we're here, we came! I mean, we're awfully fond of children and all that, but at the moment we are in the middle of a war. I suppose you don't believe we won the battle against the White Witch. We'll show him. Go. Come on! Come on! Careful, Edmund! Ah, come on! Ah, come on! Oh, come on! Oh, oh. Come on! Come on! Come on, don't give up! Come on! That's it! Well done! Oh. Wasted so much time. I must join Prince Caspian at once. What 
is it? We're in a hurry. I've seen him. I've seen Aslan. Oh, dear. Where do you think you saw him? Don't talk like a grown-up. I don't think I saw him. I know I saw him. All right. Where? There. And that's the way he wants us to go. Oh, yes. Very, very fascinating, I'm sure. And how do you know that? I just know. <sighs> well, I suppose there could be lions in these woods. Don't you think I know Aslan when I see him? Yeah, but he'd be a pretty elderly lion by now if it were the same one you knew when you were here before. You don't understand. We do. Well, at least a little. But I'm sorry, Lucy, we didn't see him. I think it's best we put it to a vote. Mm. This way? Or this? This way. This way. Mm. You're wrong. I'm sure you're wrong. He came to help us. He came as a warning. If you go that way, you'll head straight into danger. Why don't you believe me? Aslan, Aslan! Oh. Well, where now? The plane, the mound. Well, they must all be on the other side of this wood. Are you sure? No, he isn't. Let's keep moving. The stone table must be straight ahead. 